Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're gonna random here. I just need to get this pen is like out of ink again. I'm not doing that much writing. I'm writing as much as like a like a first grade student. A first grade student probably writes more than like 16 characters a day anyway. I hope so. Write more than 16 characters? Who do they think they are? George Lucas? <laughs> I don't know anything about Star Wars, really. We're gonna random. Did I actually lose that last run or was I doing some seated runs or something? Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, um, you know what? We'll try. And if we fail once as the lost, maybe we'll do another one. And if we fail twice as the lost, maybe we'll just fuck off forever. I don't love the idea of getting the lost. Um, yeah, I might as well pop up the seed here. 1, 7, A, V, E. Don't ignore that one. It's just the first run of today, so I like to designate it as such. 7, A, not 7, 4. Okay. We're gonna rock down to 7th Avenue. That's where they get the burritos. This is, a, this is the worst room, man. It's not actually, like, literally the worst room, but it is fucking annoying. Ah, uh, yes, okay, I didn't realize that we had somehow gotten that guy so close to death. Uh, I don't know what to call these enemies. They're basically like the, the renegades of junk, pretty much. Like, just trying to mess with my shit all day, every day. What's my strategy for the Lost? He, you know, I almost feel like he should have taken more damage. My strategy for the Lost is, um, not to do endless restarts over and over and over again. Give myself a nice little escape route there. Uh, but rather to to at least play, and I, I haven't played too much since that, uh, well, I haven't played at all as the Lost since that last Lost episode where I tried to go to the dark room and failed miserably. Um, but my strategy in general is to get to that first deal with the devil, and then if things go terribly wrong, at the, we've got no rush by the way, so we might as well go ahead here. Pretty Fly might end up saving our run. Um, if we get to that first deal with the devil and get nothing useful, we're still going to keep going. But uh, it, your chances of winning, I would say, are good. like if you're going for simply like unlocking it in the quickest amount of time possible, that's probably where you want to stop. I don't know why I'm looking for tinted rocks so diligently here, uh, because then you can just get another deal with the devil. You know, you can start over again on the basement and hope for a, a better deal with the devil right off the bat. That's my philosophy. I don't really. Yeah, I'm dead. Let's do one more here. Uh, I don't really love the idea of, of just doing endless restarts until you get a Holy Mantle or nine lives in your first room. Not just because, like, I think that's the wrong way to do it. Like, if that's the way you've done it, more power to you. But rather, um, I think that it's uh, just tedious. And if, that's, if you can keep your motivation high while you're doing stuff like that, then more power to you. I am not one of those people, though. I would... Uh, I would never unlock the unlocks for the Lost. That was a very awkward sentence to say. If it required me to sit there and get like 50 restarts until I got Holy Mantle in my first room. Might not even be 50 restarts. It could be like 100 restarts. I know each one is probably only like a minute, but still. Man, our consumables are off the chain already. Hot bombs, check in and see. This item won't help us very efficiently. You can always add an extra syllable once. After that, that's where it starts to get a little bit, you know, suspect. Come on, baby, won't you do more than explode in a little explosion in its hot bombs? Hot b At least if we end up fighting the, the haunts, we can place our hot bombs appropriately. Doesn't that sound like an item from the, like, Outback Steakhouse menu? It would definitely be an appetizer. Hot bombs, I'm thinking it's like, it's like a pierogi with, like, a jalapeno inside of it as well. Jalapeno pierogies, those are your hot bombs. And the song that I just sang is the actual commercial for Hot Bombs, so check it and see. It's coming this fall to your TV. Come on, baby, it is six ninety nine and fourteen hundred calories. Hot bombs, hot bombs. I should really work in advertising. Now that Tim and Eric are doing ads all the time, I feel like the world is ready for me. Not that I'm weirder than Tim and Eric, just a worse version of weird. What do we got? Uh, sure. Why not? Please, small rock. Uh, okay. Very useful. This is not the haunt. This is actually, like, a pretty nice draw for us, I'd say, all things considered. You know, a champion version of Duke of Flies is not gonna necessarily help me out all that much, but the fact that we can create all these fires and very quickly take them out, uh, is good for business. 
And hopefully we get a, uh, well, let's be honest. I was going to say, hopefully we get some kind of non-HP upgrade. And that's exactly how this shit went down. Empress is acceptable. We might as well take missing poster. I mean, I don't know. I just used the Empress card by accident. Yeah, I got a speed upgrade, though. I thought I was taking the pill, so I took the Empress card. But instead, it turns out that I'm just a fucking idiot. Okay, so I know that there's value in that curse room. I mean, I don't know that there, it's worth going to, but I know that the, the concept of curse rooms carry value over a lost run. So, at the very least, our goal here... By the way, fuck the seller, man. Come on. Uh, at the very least, our goal here is going to be to uh, get ourselves a little something-something from that deal with the devil. Which basically just means, you know, that's code for survive. If we can just survive... This room seems like a kind of a nightmare, actually. But if we can kind of survive on this floor, we're going to get a deal with the devil. We can take whatever they're going to give me for free. And if it's a high damage item, or it's uh, nine lives, then we can live. We can also use this judgment card uh, on the deal with the devil, although Kate and I tested it the other day. And uh, the judgment card paid out with an HP upgrade in our devil room. So I don't think it's actually bound by the rules that, that it was beholden to in vanilla. So I don't think you're any more likely to get a deal with the devil item with a judgment in the deal with the devil. Unless it's a demon judgment, but if it's a demon judgment, we can't play it. So, uh, unless we had like a chariot card. It's not literally true that we can't play it. Pin. Alright, pin is not so bad. I'm hoping like I can get pin to jump through the fire. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was going for there. If I can get pin to jump through the fire, he'll be dead in like a second here. He's almost, his HP is almost gone because that's the way the HP works his pin anyway. We get Little Steven, and then on our deals with the devil, red chess. Please, items. Oh my god, the spirit hearts are... Oh! Guppy's collar! Okay, so this gives us a chance to come back to life. I think we just gotta go for the next... Fl oh no, we gotta at least try to get to our item room. So this, this gives us a small chance to come back to life, and takes us one third of the way to becoming Guppy. So it's a start. Now we could go into our... Uh we could go into our uh, curse room, and we wouldn't die on the way in, so we'd have a chance to get an item. But we would die on the way out, we'd have like a 50% chance, or literally a mathematically 50% chance to come back to life. How do I feel about that? Uh, I feel... I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I, I don't feel very confident about it, though. You know, my, my external beauty is not necessarily making me feel great about my chances in the long run. These spiders, though, man. I, this is a, the slightest bit of peace of mind. And yes, I know it's not guaranteed that we're going to come back to life if we die. But it is guaranteed that we would not come back to life if we died if we didn't have Guppy's Collar. So this is a start. Wow. Uh, we're actually, like, you know, seeing the, the value of uh, of shooting all these poops. It's it's adding up. I mean, it's adding up slowly, but it's adding up. So I'm probably not going to be able to, to do much in our shop on this floor. So I may end up playing Judgment. You might be saying, you know, why not just save money until you get to the amount of money that would make your shop worthwhile, which we now have, instead of playing Judgment. Well, the the answer there was that, um, uh, well, I guess we'll buy the seven cent item, uh, was that uh, I might not live long enough to take advantage of that. Blank card. Oh, blank card plus Judgment. This seems actually excellent. Let's see what this is. Deck of cards. Okay, well, let's try it. Two of hearts. Two of hearts is worthless. So, although it would seem like blank card, two of hearts, or sorry, blank card, deck of cards would work well together, they they don't because you can't have them both at the same time. Uh, right, that's our fire. Alright, let's try to... Oh, no! <laughs> I was so excited to walk into it. Okay, well, you know what, that's that's going to do it for the lost runs. We'll, we'll try like a real run here. Uh, that was fun-ish, but it's okay. I got killed by a demon beggar. I should have paid attention, but at least we unlocked one more item here. So let's uh, let's go back. That was a fun little interlude there. We'll make more dedicated lost runs at some point in the future. I promise. Let's get a real seed going here. I apologize for that. Uh, P two W zero P two W zero J S Z E. God damn the jizzy. All right. Well, how can I complain, right? This is a pretty good draw for us. Could we, like, this has to be true, right? The hard mode has to make it much more likely that, the, oh shit. 
Hard mode has to make it much more likely that the seller shows up. It just, it, it shows up far too frequently for this to be accidental. I keep forgetting that we can't fly. So I keep trying to fly over these rocks. It's not working out very nicely for me. I'm not sure if you've noticed that based on the fact that I uh, only have half a heart of HP left. Mind you, I did hurt myself to, to get Guppy's tail early on. Let's try not to lose faster as Kane than we did as the Lost. Lost, Lust. What's the difference? I'm the one with the eye patch. Now, if you, I, I like this fight when there's tighter lanes. Like if I can just, there we go. Yeah, okay, get him uh, going down the center lane here. Much easier to hit, a little bit less divergence. I am gonna open that, because I, I need to, in my opinion. That is a range downgrade, which is not uh, terrible. I think it was still worth the risk to try to get a, to try to get like full health or I don't even know what else would have been good for us there. Well, any kind of good thing would have been good, but full health was really what I was looking for. Range downgrade, I'm not gonna, ooh, okay. I'm not gonna lie, the range downgrade is noticeable. Spiders. Oh, Jesus, that was very close. A curved spoon. We can't lose this run now because uh, spoon bender. I, I always, always call it curved spoon, and then I always remark, oh, I always call it curved spoon. But anyway, um, we can't lose now because this is such a, an interesting basis for other synergies in the future. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now we should live almost no matter what. I thought there was a door down there. Even if we end up fighting the haunt, it shouldn't be so bad. I do think um, I, there was a. a thread on the Binding of Isaac subreddit that was like, what bosses should be moved to different pools? I do think that uh, the haunt should be moved down. Not that he's in insurmountable. Absolutely not, you know, we've all got our own strategies for dealing with the haunt, whether it's uh, stand at the bottom of the screen and fire upwards in kind of uh, in, in sync with him, or uh, restart the game until you end up not being on the cellar. <clears throat> not trying to call individual shots at uh, individuals out there, but... Um, I do think it's a more like it's proportionally difficult, appropriately for like the caves or the catacombs. Uh, that being said, I think there are some other bosses that could warrant being moved. Blastus, for example, probably a little bit too easy. I feel like, um, yeah, I'll open it. Might as well. Well, no, we might not as well, but we're going to. Um, I feel like the Hollow could actually you could get by with that as a first floor boss, like a basement or or cellar boss. The you know, downside is that it would basically just be a harder version of, of Larry Jr., which kind of makes it meaningless to have, because you already have Larry Jr. But I, I still think that that's like, eh, you know, it's not it's not the worst thing in the world to have an incredibly difficult and an incredibly easy boss in the same pool. Like, you know, that's it gives you kind of a treat sometimes and kind of a punishment other times. I'm just saying if you wanted it to be perfectly balanced, that might be what you'd go for. I'm going to try to go a little bit faster here just because, you know, Getting to boss rush, if we can, and maybe being able to snag an item, is probably a little bit stronger uh, than being able to, uh, you know, shoot all the poop or whatever. Sometimes I am mistaken about that, though. So we are very nearly done with the Widow. And this is still first floor, so no, no deals with the Devil approaching here. I'm mostly just glad we managed to live. If we can get, like, a non-HP upgrade, that would be cool. That wasn't really what I was hoping for, but I suppose I should have been more specific if I'm now going to complain about it. First floor done. Alright, basement. Curse of the Maze. Doesn't really bother me. I was about to remark, I was like, oh, it's basement 2! Basement 2, how interesting! I thought, what did I think we were going to get, like, basement 8? Also, I said remark in, like, casual conversation, which I think means that I have officially become that which I've hated. I was remarking to Tina the other day how the country club, it just seems like ever since they uh, lowered the threshold to get in, you only have to make uh, $800,000 a year, a lot of riffraff has gotten in there. It used to just be old money, but now there's all sorts of doctors and inventors and scientists that have made it in. Oh man, we have no interest in blood rights. Right now. Who knows in the future if maybe we'll be in a position where blood rights make sense. Like, blood rights, holy mantle, does that do anything? I'm gonna assume the answer is, n oh, I took floor damage. Oh, god dang it. Oh, is it gonna be one of those runs? Fucking pot spiders, man. This is why we can never legalize it. Everyone's talking about brain damage. I'm the only one over here thinking if we legalize pot, wh who's gonna do something about all the fucking spiders? Look at that. Three spiders from one pot. Is nobody else worried about today's teenagers? It's just me? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills here. 
I'm sure that that is going to spark a, uh, a good discussion in the comments. Again, you know, you, you're entitled to say whatever you want, wherever you want to some extent. That being said, you got to think about what your, what your medium says about your message, you know? Marshall McLuhan said the medium is the message. I never really understood uh, that expression until I started seeing, like, policy debates in YouTube comments. And I was like, ah, oh, I get it now. Uh, I'm just gonna keep moving on here. I was thinking about, uh, I was thinking about opening up that golden chest, but I think I'd rather save my money, or sorry, my key for the shop. Yeah. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a risk because, you know, we could open a golden chest now. It might have something great in it. Whereas if we wait for our shop, any number of things could happen. We could never get the 15 cents. We could waste our key and find that we don't have enough money. We could spend our key and find that there's nothing useful in it. But we can also, you know, spend our key on that golden chest and find out that it's garbage as well. So, uh, it's not that big of a risk, I think. Okay. We're gonna go fight our boss, our basement boss. It's, okay, it's it's the toughest version of Monstro, which still makes it one of the easier bosses. Although, you know what? This might be like harder than the Widow at this point. Oh, that was, that was some nasty damage there. Just cause like the reason the Widow's difficult is the same reason this fight's a little tricky. There's just a lot of, of enemy on the screen and I, I'm, I didn't misspeak there. There's a lot of enemy. Within the category of things that are not friends, there are a lot. Some of them are bullets, some of them are people or sentient beings of, of one kind or another. Okay. Deal with the devil, please. Be generous. That is not generous, but the item is pretty good. I like blue cap. The shot speed downgrade. Not my favorite. See if... Let's we'll just put a bomb here. See if we can get some cash out of it. That's... One bomb for two cents is not very good. But if we can replicate that once, we'll have a lot of bombs left over. Or enough. Swallowed penny is probably better. Uh... And we might end up in the weird situation where we actually want to spend... Uh, well, you know what. We can probably just uh, crack open that poop, can't we? Um, if we don't get the money anyway. But we're in the weird situation where if we get some more keys, we might want to open golden chests to give us enough money to get to the shop. Strangely enough. Look, this is a slow run. No question about it. Especially considering we started with a bunch of uh, busted ass lost runs. If only that had been nine lives instead of Guppy's Collar, I actually could have played that Demon Judgment and been really, really stupid about it. All right, let's shoot our poop here. You only got to get two of them to pay out. We could also hurt ourselves to get the money. Okay. I uh, I gotta go to the shop. But let's let's crack open like a couple more pots first, just to see. Okay, that's good. That's good. We still got a decent supply of bombs, which I appreciate. Uh, I would like to be able to buy more keys on our shop as well, but we'll see if that's possible. Doesn't look like I'll be able to get into a boss rush room, or boss trap room. Boss rush also looking very, uh, you know, I'm not feeling too excited about that right now. Uh, okay. Let's go tarot cards. Mom's purse is pretty good, but, uh, I like tarot cards a little bit more. Because we... Let's, let's pop them right now also, so we can maybe find our secret room. There, well, okay. That works as well. Oh, and then there's a golden poop right off the bat, which gave me five, six cents. We could open a golden chest or buy a battery or something like that, but I'm just going to save our money for the next floor. Uh, I like tarot cards because blood rights is bad, and, you know, tarot cards not a very exciting item, but we know what they do. We basically paid 15 cents for three bombs, which is already a good deal, so tarot cards is, well, it's not a great deal if your money's short, but um, it's already paid for itself on a, on a literal level. Tears down, that is terrible. Bombs are key is actually kind of okay for us right now. I'll probably come back to that. I would, I would, if possible, like to achieve uh, some kind of actual positive item for ourselves before we uh, maybe enter our more difficult rooms. The issue with what we got going on here is we all, we've also had a shot speed downgrade. Contrary to what you might think, I believe that a shot speed downgrade comes with a corresponding small range decrease as well. Like, uh, the, the blue cap, I think, is combining with the ra range downgrade pill to basically make it unfeasible for me to attack anything that's not right up in my face. Which would be fine if we had proptosis or something that was, like, proportionally um, high damage for low range, but we don't really have that right now. Which is why we're really, really banking on a deal with the devil on this floor. Perhaps we'll even get an item that makes range useless, like brimstone. Brimstone plus uh, spoonbender is 
A classic combination. That's what uh, informed gamers said. Okay, coming down the middle row here. That's what I was hoping for. More pills. Bombs are key. Is not necessarily a bad thing. Harlequin Baby is not necessarily a good thing. We'll have a new tarot card soon. Who knows what it might be. We will uh, probably go to our shop. I would like to be able to... Ooh, careful here. I would like to be able to blow up this tinted rock down here. So we'll just take it pretty slow. Oh my god. There we go. We got a spirit heart out of it. That was a lot of effort for not much payout, but... Uh, compass, well worth buying. Battery, less so. If we get a little lucky, we might want to buy the steam sale before we buy the compass. We'll need 22 cents, which we're not, not close to, but not, you know, grossly far away from either. Are we going to have to rely on Harlequin Baby to kill these enemies? Like, that that's not going to make me a very happy person here. Oh, we actually got it done. Okay. Two of clubs again. So, yes, we get bombs are key and then two of clubs, but I think we're just going to two of clubs right away and get our bombs. Uh, get our, like, get the bombs that, uh... We get for free, and there we go. Now we paid 15 cents for five bombs. I'd like to kind of, you know, it's a little bit anal retentive, but I'd like to keep a running tally of how we do on our tarot cards here for me to decide whether or not this is a, an appropriate item for us to take in the future, because as of right now, it's working out pretty well, but if you only got shitty tarot cards, you would probably feel a little differently. Polycephalus is uh, an annoying boss, but on the bright side, we are doing a decent amount of damage. Not, not quite as bad as I had originally thought. That probably should have hit me. I was in no position to dodge it. This guy's more annoying when he uh, is on a small room later in the game. As a boss, I guess he's not so bad. So there's our deal with the devil. Work with me here. At least one item, please. Oh, well, that's going to teleport me back into this room with the bombs. That sucks real hard. So, what do I think about this? I think we should look for our secret room here. Or here. I'm a little tempted to just bounce down to the next floor, but uh, I do know that it would be in our best interest if we could at least buy the compass. That is inaccessible, unfortunately. Uh, those pills, well, we know there's a bombs or key pill amongst them. It's going to be a little bit of a slower run, that's okay. I almost don't even mind taking the damage. you got a pretty nice supply of HP here. Every extra bit of damage we take is actually a little bit of extra money. That is not going to help. Wow. Well, if there's ever a run that highlights why Kane is not necessarily as good as he used to be in vanilla, this would be it right here. Sure, we've gotten a, a decent amount of consumable drops. But, man, these pills are killing me slowly with his song. Killing me slowly with his song. Telling my whole life with his words. What is this song about? Some kind of, like... Hans Christian Andersen type or something? I don't get it. We've already been to our secret room. Man, are we not even going to get enough money to go uh, get the compass? That's really s shitty. No pills. Well, you know what? I Let's just bounce to the next floor then. Uh, I know we could blow up the donation machine. That's not really something I'm apt to do right now. Considering that uh, I've put so much effort in making sure our donation machine actually gets up to 999, which hopefully we'll be able to do here. Alright, let's reroll this whole thing if we can. Nope. Uh, but we can trade like a key for a nickel, a key for a bomb, a key for a battery. I think a key for a battery is the closest that that room comes to being efficient for us. Key for a bomb is not really worthwhile. We could also do, you know, trade a key for a bomb and then bombs are key. And that would give us an extra key, but that would be the biggest waste of time I could possibly imagine. Next to spending your whole life playing video games like I am doing right now. Okay. Yeah, like we could do, we could go from seven keys to six to go from seven bombs to six and then completely reverse it. It would really highlight, you know, the nihilistic nature of life, you know, the Sisyphusian kind of condition. Now, we use that two of spades. I like it. I love it. I, I have exactly a proportional amount of it. That gave us seven keys. So I think we can absolutely use one key to get another battery and see what our next card is going to be here. Chaos card. We're going to roll with that. You know, the, you know what the chaos card does, probably, if you've been 
you know, playing Rebirth for yourself, or you've been watching, no, thank you, uh, you've been watching some of the streams where I was doing some stuff, we got into some interesting, uh, Chaos card mechanics. Basically, this will insta kill whatever it touches. I need like 15 cent here. It is useful. You have to aim it with your own personage, rather than um, rather than like kind of your your directional aiming with your tears like you would normally do. Uh, so we kind of we we can use this to kill a difficult boss. I would probably like to use this on. It doesn't really matter, I guess, who we're gonna fight, but I'll pr probably try to use it on Isaac maybe. I would like, I would like this. I didn't mean to walk over that, I swear to you. Speed is a little higher than I remember. We'll just knock this out ever so slightly. Okay, I think that was worth it in spite of the damage that we took. And we're, we'll just leave that bombs or key pill behind because it's not that effective. I've whiffed every single time I've tried to use the chaos card. I'll, I'll own up to it, man. I would very much like to not whiff this time. So I'll, I'll hold on to this as long as it's practical. The good news is with the tarot cards, almost every other card in the game, you can find an immediate use for it, even if it's not uh, the most efficient use for it. Like the sun card, best used as full health, but you can use it as the compass and it's not a total waste. Usually. But for now, I've got to admit that this run is not really tickling my fancy the way that I, I would like my fancy to be tickled, which is vigorously and as quickly as possible because I've got things to do. Now, that can change. I would say that, for sure, I feel like the um, the cards have paid for themselves, but I also feel like we've gotten a, a pretty lucky draw when it comes to... Uh, there you go. Clever wordplay. <laughs> Apparently that's what constitutes clever in my my sphere. But anyway. Um, it's... Uh, it's... Uh, da, 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 it's pretty good. But I kind of... You know, the, the thing with the shop is that it's never just the, the merits of the item that you get. Has it paid for itself? Yes. Does that make it a good decision? Well, not necessarily, because I, I'm just going to use this over here first. Uh, save us some... Uh, you lived? That was kind of bullshit, but um, it's the it's the opportunity cost. We don't, really don't want Monstro's Tooth. By buying the, the cards, I did get a Chaos card, you know, picked up plenty of consumables, but I also made it so that I could not get... Oh, yes! We have to do this. No question about it. And it would be awesome to be able to get Blank card as well. Um, let's open this. We may be able to get the money. I'll get Bob's brain. It gives us a little bit of a range up in a way. Um, so blank card, chaos card seems amazing. If I can get nine vol- Oh, jeez. Forgot that my shots will explode. Um, that's almost enough money. We're like one cent shy. There's gotta be one. I can always hurt myself to get more money. Um, you know what? Walk into me. Thank you. Thank you. Might have cost ourselves a slight deal with the Devil Chance, but that's okay. And we'll buy it right away, even though we can get another charge on it by not buying it right away. So this should allow me to, once every three rooms, just kill a big enemy if I want to. But I've got to actually aim the shot. Who are we fighting? It's Gertie? There you go. Chaos card just sliced right through. Might have lost all our spirit hearts here. This seems like a really good combination. Especially if we can get like some 48 hour energies or something going along with it. No deal with the devil is no problem right now. Let's uh, head down to the next floor. We picked up meat. It's a good item. I'm a little bit more optimistic about things now. No boss rush. That's just, it's just not going to happen. Uh, no, thank you. That was very bad and may have cost me uh, my deal with the devil chances. In a way, it's, it's funny that I'm so excited about blank card. Chaos card being able to be used once every three rooms when it's basically like old Krampus's head but harder to aim and it can only be used against single targets. Like, I don't think it's overpowered except for that it will automatically kill bosses. Um, but, uh, so I, I probably should not have used it there given that we have our, our boss fight right there. But let's go. Uh, oh, maybe it's, maybe it's not only useful against a single target, maybe you can use it against multiple targets. Range upgrade that's something. Bombs are key. Should have known about that one. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit more exploration in the hopes of getting some uh, red hearts here. Because I'm a little nervous about that. We should be okay for it. Part of the problem is my range is so low. Bob's brain is actually... I thought it would be like a little like picking up a range upgrade. Instead, it's just like 
an enormous liability because I have to get so close to these enemies to hit them. I don't think Bob's brain is really affected by it. Oh, no, it, it shoots on diagonals. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I want to get our, our Chaos card charged before our boss fight just so that I can, you know, feel reasonably confident we can get through that pretty quickly. Red hearts. Range down. Man, that's terrible. That's just bad. Bombs are key. I'm just going to use it so it's gone. It's a bad use of it, admittedly. All right, well, let's go get our Chaos card, fight the boss. I don't think we're going to have a very good deal with the Devil Chance. That's all right. Shit happens. See, the, because the problem is I need to play the Blood Bank to get back over here. Which is not the end of the world, because with Swallowed Penny, that's actually fairly solid. But maybe, like, drop a bomb here, see if we get uh, Black Hearts. Tower is not what I'm looking for there. Well, let's try it. Mega fatty. Alright, so one of them is dead. I made a little bit of a compromise there. Could have tried for the second one. It's okay, though. We're going to stand about at the maximum range where we can still get hit. Or we can still get hits. We can probably still get hit as well. But my hope is that, um, you know, we're, we're just going to be able to use Bob's brain pretty effectively in here. What are you... Oh, my God. He sucked the chaos card out. I wonder if that would have uh, if that would have hurt him if it actually hit him. That would be interesting. You're not dead yet? That's That looked like it did next to no damage. Okay, I would really, really, really like to see a deal with the devil here. We did not get one. But the chaos card uh, with uh, blank card is working out well. Well-ish, anyway. And uh, let's, let's come down here, maybe get access to something that it was a little bit less immediately dangerous for me than this blood bank is going to prove to be. That's okay, though. Could always explode it, and you never know what kind of goodness we can get out of that. Oh, fuck this. There we go, okay. I just needed to wait. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Just needed to wait for a seam to open up, and then the room got a little easier, even though I did take damage after opening of said seam. Blank card is ready. Whoa. I got two with that. I don't think that... Uh, I don't think that the the Chaos card has unlimited range. There is a uh, Tinted Rock there. That's a pretty important thing to notice. Although, unfortunately, it didn't really work out for me. and ended up giving me merely two more bombs, which is not something I needed. Alas, we continue moving onwards here on what is proving to be a very difficult floor. Or at least a, a bit of a stressful one. Okay, just blow up. And then we can come down here and take you out easily. More keys is something. You know, I am hoping that we'll be able to make something good happen on our shop here. It's a very, quite a stressful run. Whoa. Uh, because, you know, effectively, because of our range. And our damage not being amazing. HP, you know, I'll own up to that. That's my own problem. Skinny Odd Mushroom will help a little bit. Also, the fact that we've got no red hearts dropping strikes me as a little crazy. I, I totally botched that chaos card. Okay. Oh, he's not dead. Now he's dead. Okay, that's a big one. That is also extremely helpful. R gotta remember, like, the chaos card, you don't aim it with your tears, you aim it with your body. So, you know, 90% of the time in Rebirth, when you're trying to aim something, you aim it with your tears, like I'm aiming at these enemies right now. This is, this is the 10% of the time you try to aim it with your actual movements, which is strange, to say the least. Okay, well, we're still going to try to make our shop worthwhile. There's a relatively likely chance we end up being up against a mini-boss. So, undefined, missing no. Rerolls our whole run? Yeah. Okay, I prefer our new run, especially since we got to keep blank card. Our old run was a little uh, a little spotty. Like, we were running into trouble, I think. This, this feels a lot better. We also picked up more immediate HP in the process, which is nice. And in our shop, I had a feeling we might be fighting greed. Should have picked up this battery first, but our damage is actually, like, much, much better now. And we don't have Bob's brain. We have kind of a similar uh, foible here in the form of BBF, but... Not having Bob's brain is uh, something, you know, the importance of which cannot be overstated. That undefined probably just saved our run.
It at least saved it from being a, a slow descent into disaster. If anyone out there could offer any kind of insight, we also picked up Pyro in there. Do we have special bombs? We have Mega Bombs, yeah. Um, if anyone out there could offer some insight into why Nearsighted Friend is not the worst item in the game, I would be very, you know, open to hear it. And I guess, like, that, that leaves you an easy opening. Just tell me about a worse item than Nearsighted Friend. But I do think Nearsighted Friend is really, really bad. Curse of the Unknown. Can't see our HP. We got a pill just for going down to the next floor. Was that, um... I didn't even realize that... Oh, it... Right. Okay, it rerolls everything every floor. Right. So this is a little dangerous because we actually don't know uh, what we have HP-wise right now. We're very slow. We got Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies always shows up on these transformation... Uh, like, on these reroll runs every single time. Looks like we got Stompy as well. We got a little Brimstone. We got our Chaos card. We still got some of the same consumables we had when we started. I, We also still have Technology 2 or something. Uh, you know, this doesn't seem like an incredible run. Looks like we, oh, we definitely have Mom's Wig, just visually. That's alright. Uh, this, It was still worth it. There is a small chance... That we end up getting, like, consistently worse runs or, like, really inconveniently timed runs that are worse than the one that we started with. But we were already in a pretty not great position, so I don't feel that bad about it. What is up with these, like, triple shots? Like, the triple shot soy milk proptosis? The good news is with Little Brimstone, we don't need to worry about that that much. But, man, if we did not have Little Brimstone, triple shot soy milk proptosis would probably be, like, some of the worst shit we could ever have. Especially considering we seem to have, like, literally zero range to go along with it. Okay, we're at full red HP. That's good. I don't really care about the money, to be honest with you. We can stomp on all this shit right here. Maybe a Joker card could be nice. That's two of hearts. Doesn't do anything. The sun. I'll use it to see where we're going. Because I want to roll with the Chaos card in the future. And uh, we'll, we'll just keep using the Chaos card when effective. This is, at the very least, this is a good... Um, a good test for the Chaos card. A good, a good way to get my um, my acumen with this item up a little bit. This is not a very good run. Like, sorry, th this reroll is not very good. We're still doing fine here. And Rotten Baby is going to be rerolled into something. But for now, I'm very happy to have the flies, even though our individual tiers probably do next to no damage. Yeah, uh, we're just going to go the obvious way here. You might think it's not necessarily worthwhile to uh, use a Chaos card to kill one of these hearts. Hey, man. We don't have 9-volt anymore, actually, so you might be right. But, uh, you know, we got to use it. I feel like using it as often as possible works out the best for us, as long as we have it ready for our boss. Because I think if we hit Mom with it, she'll just die, like, instantly, which is pretty good. And by pretty good, I mean, like, really, really damn good. We also seem to have Spoonbender or something still active here. Transformations, I believe, stick after rerolls as well, so uh, we should be... Ooh, that's bad. We should be... We must have Gimpy as well. Yeah, or Fanny Pack. I think we gotta go with uh, Ace of Spades here. Transformation sticks, so we should always be Lord of the Flies. That being said, I think Lord of the Flies is kind of terrible. Uh, let's donate. This is something we at least have time for here. I, I let myself get distracted. Oh, what? I can't get behind the donation machine? Oh, there we go. I thought this was America. There we go. I can't see what I'm donating at, man. We'll see when it stops. I think we're over 950. Yeah. Getting up to 960. We can get as high as 970. Never mind. 970. Never mind. Didn't mean to buy a bomb there. Bombs are no longer special unless they're sad bombs. Yeah, being able to one-shot these bosses is going to... Not every boss. No, no, every boss for the remainder of the game. It wouldn't work on Satan or Mega Satan. But we're probably not going to be fighting Satan or Mega Satan. It might not work on the Lamb either. Not totally sure. Not really too worried about our secret room here either. I'm just saving the Chaos card until uh, until the Mom fight. Don't blow it, but you know, you know where Mom shows up. She always drops a... Uh, a foot right in the middle, right at the very beginning. Alright, let's do this. I am prepared. That was very good. No deal with the devil. I'll take this. We'll head down to the next floor. I'm eager to see what our reroll is because uh, this, this damage was not amazing. 
All right, now, whoa, we got like Monstro's Lung, Proptosis, Mysterious Liquid, Fire Mind. Hmm. Very weird. Also, we have something trailing us. Oh, that's a sack of pennies. I'm paranoid ever since we've had Isaac's Heart. So I think our damage now is going to be awesome, or at least decent. Looks like we still have spiders, but I'm not sure if we're generating those or if those are from the the last train. Oh no, we, we must have Infestation too. Still Lord of the Flies again, as mentioned, that sticks with us. This this feels stronger. Not amazingly strong, but pretty strong. The the real benefit of this run, it's it's hard to see unless you're actually playing it, but oh here's how fast we get to max rate of fire, or at least like decent rate of fire. Ready? One Mississippi No, it's like half a second. Our our rate of fire is is through the roof right now. Uh, I was just looking for tinted rocks there. Whoa! We also have uh, anti-grav tier or magnetic tears. I'll, I'll make that mistake every time. I uh, <laughs> that surprised me, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. We also have a lot of HP. Uh, yeah, 19 keys. Why not, right? Joker, two of diamonds. Why not? Uh, don't see any tinted rocks in that general vicinity. I am aware that we should probably be using Chaos Card a little bit more often. These guys don't really seem to warrant it. Not really that interested in doing that. I'm a little nervous. A little anxious might be a better word to throw in there. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, I have Turdy Touch as well. So whenever I'm invincible... Chaos... Uh, Joker? Yes. Is this an XL floor? This must be an XL floor. Um, whenever I turn invincible, I should... Uh, Walk into enemies. So yeah, I mean, it's not necessarily totally worth it to play this Demon Judgment here. But it could be. And this isn't taking hearts anymore. Did that get patched or have I always just been an idiot? We must have PhD because that Tears Downgrade became a Tears Upgrade. We got a Speed and Range Upgrade, which is mostly good because we'll be able to use that for, you know, a, an extra reroll pedestal basically. Bit of a bit of a risk to go so low on HP when uh, we have anti or sorry magnetic tears. I'll make that mistake continuously. Never mind. Please give me. Uh, I would love an HP upgrade, even though we have a spirit art. You know, give me some healing power here. With the map, we can be fairly confident that our boss room is going to be up there in the top right. I'd say. Now, again. Chaos card, I'm going to try to use it as often as possible. No, I shouldn't say as often as possible. As often as is practical. Oh my god, we might actually die on this floor. Look at the speed that those shots started moving at there. Good. Very good. So we should, uh, we should blow these up for red hearts. There's, oh, don't touch them. Don't touch them. Just want to have... Oh my god, stop touching them. Just want to have as best chance as possible of, of getting a little bit of our HP back here. Not back hair. That's that's completely different. Yeah, okay. Let's go up. This is a Chaos Card worthy room. Decent. I apologize for my relatively stunted commentary right now, but it's because I got to... You know, I gotta get a move on here. I gotta, I gotta play smart. I gotta be calm. I gotta be two thousand places at once. Man, whatever happened to the polyphonic spree? Now that I think about it. I don't know the answer to that question. Red hearts. I was gonna say Joker card. Ah, uh, I understand the value of having like Joker card, blank card instead of Chaos card, blank card. But I really like the idea of one shotting all these late game bosses. I mean, that makes it pretty uh, likely that we're gonna have enough HP. To beat them. All you gotta do is hit them. If you miss, you're fucked. But if you hit them, you're fine. Now, our uh, our spiders are gonna be nice for us here. There we go. Good use of blank card, I think. In my opinion. There's almost no way this isn't our boss room. Like, I, I can't fathom it. You know, in spite of the fact that uh, magnetic... Yes, I actually said it right that time. In spite of the fact that magnetic tears are a little dangerous, I am gonna miss this floor, I think. Because the damage is decent and the spiders are out of control. And we're going to have our boss rooms coming up soon. I think it's inevitable that it has to be up here. Um, 
Yeah, it, it must be. The anti-grav is, is getting me in a lot of trouble. But, you know, the, the crazy invincibility we had here is kind of nuts as well. Yeah, okay. They don't reroll the Polaroid, so we should still be uh, able to go down to the chest. Ooh, those were some looping shots there. I was a little scared. More red hearts. I, I understand permanent Polaroid invincibility, but what? Maybe our boss fights are in different areas? That does, ha it has happened a couple times. Well, with this being the wrong way, I'm, you know, this is going to be a marathon run here. No question about that. Where the, oh my god, was it right off the, like, entrance? There was a tinted rock there. Like, right where we started, there's the freaking way that you go. I feel like a darn idiot now. Well, at least this gives me some time to take a little sip of my coffee here. Mmm. I find that coffee tastes better if you just slurp it down in the grossest sounding way, like an inch away from your microphone. Mmm. Get that delicious non-controlled substance inside of my body if you don't mind. Again, since this is an XL floor, our uh, Joker cards are not going to be very useful for us. I recognize that I'm leaving behind a key. If I had starter deck, I would take the Joker down with me, no questions asked. That used to be... Bombs are key, and it still is, too. So we got a big boss room, followed by what is probably not so big of a boss room, because it'll be Mom's heart. Not really worthwhile. I guess we're just going to use... Uh, we're going to fight Mr. Fred the old-fashioned way, which means probably being exceptionally frustrated by Mr. Fred, because I think this boss is annoying, but, you know, most of the time, it, you know pretty quickly whether Mr. Fred's going to be the end of you. He's not going to be the end of us. He might just be kind of a pain in the dick. Alright, so he's dead. More or less. The walking dead. Jesus juice is something that we could use for the next room. Not really. Mom's heart is dead thanks to Chaos card. It's a very powerful combination. I mean, it's, it should be pretty easy to see. We'll be heading up to the cathedral and hoping for a good reroll. But moreover, hoping for a good reroll on the next floor. Uh, money equals power with decent cash. Like Monstro's Lung again. Charm Shots. Uh, I guess the map sticks with you too. Much slower rate of fire. But, you know, Headless Baby. Seems we still got some spiders with us. Uh, it seems like our damage is way, way better. Yeah, we do have Charm Shots. Quarter is going to help. Money equals power. As is the money on the ground. Uh, let's check over here. I don't think it'll be over here. It's a little bit of wishful thinking, but... You never know. I kind of feel like we don't need to play Judgment because we're already at full health. We have two lives, which is a very rare amount to have without a question mark next to it, at least. That's like one up plus Ankh, I think. Or it could be one up plus Lazarus's Rags or Judas' Shadow. But it can't be Guppy's Collar. Not really interested in that, as interesting as it might be. Okay, so I, I think we have Wafer as well. Uh, I'm, I'm very much liking uh, what, we're, what we're coming up against here. I like that uh, we seem to be one or two shotting every enemy that we face. Money equals power is helpful. This is going to be a, a pretty easy floor. There's Guppy's collar. Are we Guppy now? We do not appear to be Guppy. This is a dead end because of Curse of the Maze. Got it. I was a little bit confused uh, that I had seemingly gone in the wrong direction. We should actually go back up there and check. And make sure that we have... Uh, not missed it here. Oh, we did! Okay, let's go fight the boss. I'm ready. It's a shame this floor is over quickly because this is a really nice one. But Isaac's dead easily. And we'll be heading down to the next floor. What a very strange video I've recorded here today. Very strange indeed. Now we have Mom's Knife. So I'm not concerned at all. Mom's Knife, Capricorn, oh my god. So Penetrative Shots plus Damage Upgrade. It's just a damage upgrade for us, but Capricorn's amazing as well. We lost our map, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like we have Fire Mind. It, it does seem like we're doing not so amazing damage, even though we did just one-shot Monstro. Oh, we have Taurus as well, man. All right, this is this is a win now, guaranteed. And I'll admit, you know, we got pretty lucky. It's been a couple of good uh, floor rerolls for us in a row here that have made this more conceivable. That was a very strange Brimstone shot. We got some other, you know, some, some decent stuff for us here. You know, Punching Bag's pretty good. Gemini's pretty good. Blue Baby's friend can be pretty good, but there's not really much point of us having it here. 
Taurus is amazing, especially considering we're actually able to move pretty quickly. And of course, we also do have the Chaos card, which means that, uh, oh, that was, yeah, good use of it right there. Uh, but it means that, you know, whenever we encounter a difficult enemy, we can basically make them eat our shit, to, to put it in the most eloquent terms that I feel comfortable with. So this should be, uh, this is gonna be a win. After uh, a few lost losses, that, that feels nice. I'll, I'll always be wondering, you know, if we could have made it happen there. And again, I, I'll double down and make a more concerted effort to make the lost uh, actually happen in the future. When we get it on random, it's just going to be a streak ruiner for now. Until it isn't. Oh, we can't even pick that up. Okay. Lost 9 volts, so chaos cards, you know, a little slower to work. That's okay. We also lost the wafer, so damage is, is real now. As if it weren't before. We just we probably could have like two shot Gertie anyway, but you know why not? It doesn't really matter. Like even if we're uh, even if we don't have uh, the chaos card for when we fight our boss, we're gonna beat Blue Baby very easily. Look at how quickly we just killed the bloat. We we found ourselves in a very strange situation where uh, the the best like insta kill item in the world is actually kind of useless because we already insta kill pretty much without a timer associated with it, which is uh, relatively lucky, I would say. But I'm always, my, my preference on Isaac runs is always absurdity. And this one is absurd, you know? Being able to get consistent uh, one-hit KOs against bosses is out of control. I will say uh, that if I have to give credit to anything on this run, it's probably undefined or, or missing, though. You know, that probably won the day for us here. And there you go. That was an easy finish. Blue Baby didn't even get a chance to shoot. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.